Good morning, students. So we must stay safe and protect ourselves from coronavirus. And how could we do that? Let's watch a video. Try to avoid contact with people who display symptoms similar to those of pneumonia or the common cold, like coughing or a runny nose. Don't touch your eyes, nose or mouth with unwashed hands. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water and scrub for at least 20 seconds. Use alcohol-based hand sanitizer when possible. Avoid animals and animal markets. The only current treatment for coronavirus being offered is supportive in nature. If you notice any of these symptoms and conditions, please contact your nearest professional healthcare setup. Help spread this information to everyone. Okay, so today's lesson is lesson 12.2 inches, feet, and yard. We are going to cover page number 705 to 708. And your homework is assigned online on Pearson website. So just log into Pearson online to check your homework. So before getting into lesson, let's review what we learned in previous lesson. So we learned about measuring the length using a ruler. We discussed three basic units of length. So what were those units? Quickly think. Yes, very good. The first and the short unit of length was inch. It is inch and one inch is on the ruler looks like this. And this paper clip is about one inch long. And then the next one was feet or foot. Very good. And one foot is equal to how many inches? 12 inches. Very nice. And the third one was yard. And one yard was equal to? Very nice. Three feet. So let's watch a video related to lesson. You can use a ruler to measure length. What units are shown on this ruler? Inches. What is the length of the paper clip? The length. So what was the length for paper clip? We discussed the length of this paper clip in two previous lessons so it's starting from zero and it is finishing on one so the length of this paper clip is about one inch very good length of the paper clip is about one inch the book is about one foot one foot is 12 inches long what other objects are about a foot long So what other objects are about a foot long? Just think, look around yourself. Some other objects that are about a foot long are a doll, a plate, or a school binder. You can use a yardstick to measure length too. The bat is about one yard. A yardstick is three feet or 36 inches long. What objects are about a yard long? Some objects that are about a yard long are a poster, a small table, or a medium dog. So try it. This is going to be your homework. I will assign this. You will click the try it and then do the task given in this bar. You can use a measuring tape to measure inches, feet, or yards. What unit is shown on this tape measure? Inches. Are these inches the same size as inches on the ruler? Why? So why the inches on the ruler and measuring tape are of same size? Because very good. Inch is a standard unit and it is same on all the tools in the world. Yes, 
An inch is a standard unit of length. It is always the same length, no matter which tool is used to measure. So, should an object measure the same number of inches if measured with a ruler or a measuring tape? Yes, it should be the same. Now you know how to use inches, feet, and yards to measure lengths. Let's estimate and measure. So that was a video about inches, foot, and yard. So on question uh, one, page number 705, which objects in the classroom are about one inch, about one foot, and about one yard long? Show these objects. So look around yourself in your home, in your room, and draw any object which you think is about one inch long, or about one foot long, and about one yard long. Yes, pause the video right here and just draw the objects. Okay, so what I think is about one inch is a coin or a quarter. And here I draw a book that is about one foot long. And then here I drew a table that is one yard long. Next page, you have to match each object with a reasonable estimate to its length. So look at the objects. These are, this is a hammer, a paper clip, and a window. So here it's given about one yard, about one inch, and about one foot. So just match the objects with their length. So what about the hammer? What do you think? Is it one yard? Is it one inch? Or is it about one foot? Yes, very good. It's about one foot. Now, what about the paper clip? We are discussing this paper clip from two lessons. So it's about one yard or one inch? Bravo, it's about one inch. Draw the line. And then what about this window? one yard very good page what do we have estimate the length of each object choose a ruler yardstick or measuring tape to measure write the tool you used so first of all we have to discuss about the tools choose a ruler a yardstick or a measuring tape So ruler, we can use ruler to measure the short objects or the small objects, or we can use ruler to measure the inches and sometimes one foot. What about yardstick? Yardstick is the long ruler and it has the marks for inches, then feet, and then yards. So you can use yardstick to measure all inches, feet, and yard, but because it is a long one, so it is not a best way to use for the short object. Means if you want to measure a pencil and it's just some inches long, so you cannot use a long yardstick to measure a pencil, right? So you will use yardstick to measure the long or the big objects or the large things then the measuring tape the measuring tape again you can use to measure the inches and the feet and also the yards but sometimes the measuring tape is short for bigger objects like to measure your room like to measure your door your windows it is short so in the first picture, you have to measure the pencil. Estimate, just a close guess that how long a pencil is. Then you will measure it using your ruler and it's about how many inches. About means you have to keep in your mind the concept of nearest inch. You have to look for the halfway mark between the two numbers. 
If your pencil is longer than halfway mark, you will choose the big number. You will choose the big number for its length. And if your pencil is shorter than halfway mark, so you will choose a smaller number. And then the tool. Tool means what did you use to measure your pencil, your table, and your door? Are you using a ruler, yardstick, or measuring tape? Just fill out this table. And then question number seven, explain how you could use a foot ruler to measure the length of a room in feet. So we know that one foot ruler has only 12 inches, right? So first of all, we have to think, is it a best way to choose a ruler to measure your room? No, because the ruler is too short to measure the room we must use a yardstick to measure a big room. But according to answer, how we will use a ruler to measure the room? So we will place the ruler on the floor where the ruler ends. We will mark with a chalk or with a pencil or with a pen. Then remove the ruler and put on the mark and so on until the room ends. So that's it for this page. So here are some answers. For pencil, I use ruler. For table, I use measuring tape. And for door, I used yardstick. Your answers could vary. And then how I measured my room. Start at one end, make a mark for one foot, move the ruler to the mark, measure a second foot, and keep going. To the end of the room. Okay, on the next page, circle the real object that is about four feet in length. So, which one is four feet in length? Do you think your car is four feet? Or do you think this short, small nail is of four feet? This one or this one? So, circle the correct object. Then question nine, explain how to use a yardstick to measure the length of an object. So if you're using a yardstick, it is just like a big long ruler, as I told you on last page. So if you are using this stick and you have to measure an object, so you will place your object at what mark? We discussed it that when we are measuring using ruler, so we have to place the edge of the object at what mark on the ruler? Excellent, on zero mark. And then we can measure in inches and in feet or in yards using a yardstick. Now find an object in your room that you estimate measures about two feet, draw the object. So Look around and search for any object that you think is about two feet. Draw it here. And then what did you use to measure the object? The tool. The tool means you use a ruler. Did you use a measuring tape? Or did you use a yardstick? Now question 11. John sets two of same real objects next to each other means among these objects, he picked one object and he placed two of them together. And the length of that object is four feet, four feet. So which one among these objects, A, B, C, and D, which one do you think is about four feet? Yes, very good. This desk or the table is about four feet. Here are some sample answers. Okay, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you learned the concept. You learned how to use different tools to measure inches, feet, and yard. See you in the next video with a new lesson. Till then, take care and stay safe.